Hey everyone. Uh, I don't know who everyone is. I don't have any followers yet, but uh, whoever's watching, um, welcome. I'm doing my first instructional video today on uh, guitar, so um, manage your expectations. Uh, a friend of mine uh, saw me do an um, arrangement of um, Silent Night I did in a kind of a Hendrixy style and asked me to tab it out, which I'm going to do, and uh, I'm going to attach that um, tab to a link below. Simple song. It's in the key V. It's three chords. It's a one, four, five progression, E, um, A, B. And you are, for the most part, going to be working out of um, two chord shapes, a C shape for the E chord, where you're going to be, um, your pinky is going to be the root of this. See that? It's that C shape from an open C chord. But it's up here where the root now is going to be on the E, the seventh fret of the A string. I'm not barring because um, I don't have to for the notes we're playing and the melody. Um, you can get away with just dropping your first finger down to the G string and you can play the whole E chord right there. You could play the whole thing because the top two strings open are both E's. So. And for your A and B, I'm doing the E shape version like this for A and B, but I'm doing the hendrix -y kind of uh, thumb over the top, which frees up your pinky and frees up your hand to move around and to grab some of those melody notes uh, within the chords. So again, the three chords are going to be this C shape E chord, this E shape A chord, and this E shape B chord. So starting out, open E. So I'm letting go of uh, the root here, and I'm just holding down these two strings, the uh, fourth fret on the G string and the fifth fret on the B string, and I'm hammering on from four to six on the G string. Then I'm reaching up, barring, and then hitting the, again, four to, five, four to six hammer on back to the root. You do that twice. Gonna go up to B. Play that B major twice, and play that B B dominant seven once. Then I do an upstroke, and I catch that high B from the E string. Open E again. We're back here. Now I'm just playing really these three um, notes of that chord of the C shape. E chord, and then this is really a E7, but I'm barring down here, which picks up the 9, so you can go. So just cut, it also, there's some continuity between the, when you did the B to the B7, you hit that high E when you came up, same thing here. Kind of cool. Then um, switch to A. Now I'm only, I hit the bass note, then I hit the, the D and the G string twice. Then the third time, I hit the next two strings so I can pick up this melody note, this uh, fifth fret of the B string. So bass note. Then you're gonna slide, and you're really, it's this double stop here, it's the same shape. So you're just going to play the D in the B string. Then, like the beginning. Same thing again. A. Then back to the B. Hit the chord twice. Now this time, for the melody, you're going to Put your pinky on the uh, tenth fret of the uh, B string. So, so then you let go and play those two notes. Open E again. These three uh, notes of that C shape E chord. Then I'm just barring 
Because there's a D shape there, too, because this D shape E chord is, you know, right next door to that C shape E chord. So you can go. Then I just appreggio up, going up. Then I slide back and catch this B7. You normally would be, you know, barring, but you're only playing these three notes, so I'm just using my first finger on the G string. Then you end with an E chord. You can just end with an E. I like going up here to the, the first inversion of that A shape E chord. Doing some nonsense down there to finish it off. So, last time, real quick. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, again, the tab will be below, and um, that was fun. Thanks for watching. <laughs>